Hello everyone, welcome to Uncle Iroh's Tea Shop. In today's video, we are going to discuss and break down the surprise news announcement of Albert Kim stepping down as the showrunner of Netflix's live-action adaptation of Avatar The Last Airbender. I definitely did not see this coming, but we are going to talk about it here today. Grab some jasmine tea, take a seat, and I hope you enjoy the video. If you are looking forward to Season 2 and 3 of the live-action adaptation, give this video a like and drop your comments down below on what you think of this news. So as usual, let's not waste any time and discuss this news because I think a lot of people potentially could have some mixed feelings towards how they feel about this. So like I just said, Albert Kim has officially stepped down as the showrunner for both season 2 and 3 of the Netflix adaptation. It was reported that he stepped down in order to take up an executive producer position for Disney's Percy Jackson series that is currently developing their second season as well and other projects inside of the company. It was also detailed inside of the this report that he will still remain on the series as an executive producer. It's just that he will not be its showrunner anymore. That duty is going over to the other two executive producers who are on board with season one with Christine Bolin and Jabbar Riasani. For those who might not know the full idea of what a showrunner is, basically it is the person who guides what is the creative vision of a series but not necessarily is the one who created the show. They are the ones who had the creative elements while developing the vision of the whole series, the direction of the story and its character arcs. They are usually the ones who tend to hire the writers of a show as well. So to that last point right there, for all we know, there could be a possibility that in the future we hear news that maybe even some of the writers get replaced if these other two producers are coming in to be the showrunners now. Albert Kim was the guy who basically made a lot of the decisions on the show during season one. So to that point, this is where this news becomes a little surprising to me because I feel like at some point I would have thought the showrunner would have stayed on, but maybe they would have had a change in the writers. I don't know if we are going to get both changed up here, but this is certainly big news for the future of this adaptation. With regards to my thoughts on this, I am a little mixed, if I'm being totally honest. I think that Elbert's show running for this first season of the adaptation was a bit up and down. I think that he made some interesting decisions with how he went about the creative process that did work and also didn't work, and I think deep down, this is a guy who definitely has a love for the original cartoon. And so again, to that point, that is why I feel like there were things that he did inside of the show that I loved and liked, but also there were things that I did dislike. Perhaps this could also be a good thing for the show overall as well, if we are looking at it from that point of view. For those wondering about those two other former producers of the show who are now being the showrunners, their credits are actually much bigger than Albert's in terms of their experience in the industry. Christine worked on as a producer in a series called Once Upon a Time, 2023's Poker Face from Ryan Johnson, which which I hear is a good show, and then maybe her most notable credit, which is working on the Punisher Netflix show. Jabbar's main experience comes from visual effects, and so he's the kind of guy that lends his experience to the look on the world of Avatar and its bending and all that other stuff that we did see from season one visually. If you look at his IMDb, he's worked on a lot of big names in terms of that area of expertise. So again, with what experience they do have, I'll be curious to see how they handle this role as do showrunners for the final two seasons. They are definitely being given a big task for this kind of thing given how much bigger these two seasons are than season one. My final point of this is again, maybe we do see them also bring in different writers, so be on the lookout if that news does come around. Other than that, I don't really have much else to discuss with regards to this piece of news that dropped. I'll leave a link to the Variety article that details a bunch of information in the description. I will say also, it is funny because just the other day I posted a video about everything I believe season Season 2 needs to do in order to be successful, and I did not have this on the list, weirdly enough. Again, Albert is still an executive producer on the show, he's just not show running it anymore. I think he might also find some good fortune working on that Percy Jackson series, which I thought was off to a good start with its first season. I'll be eager to see how these new showrunners take on the bigger and more important seasons of the original cartoon for Avatar. With regards to everything I talked about in this video, be sure to drop your comments down below about what we discussed and my commentary on it. If you you did enjoy the video and you like this news and you're looking forward to season two and three, give this video a like and let's see if we can hit a goal of 200 likes on this one. If you are new here to this channel, be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell to be updated for when I upload again in the future. Thank you all for stopping by Uncle Iroh's Tea Shop. On your way out, be sure to let him know how much you appreciated his jasmine tea and his words of wisdom that come with it. I hope everyone here has a wonderful rest of the day and I will see you all soon for more Avatar.